Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video. So today we are doing some short beginner friendly winter poly gel nails. We're not really going to need that much for this nail set, but we are using this nude poly gel from Macart. It's called French Press. We're also going to need a pink and white gel polish and some fine glitter and that's pretty much it. So getting started on these nails, I'm just going to do the nail prep and I'm just going to push back the cuticles. So for this design, this is the inspiration that I found. Like I said, these are just going to be really easy and beginner friendly. I wanted to do something really simple and kind of like the main focus of this video is that these nails are extra short. I think these are the shortest nails I've ever done on my channel. We have done short nails in the past, but my short is kind of different from everyone else's short. I think short is like a good like medium. You know, I wanted to do actual extra short nails. Still, honestly, they could have been shorter, but also not only are they extra short, these are the start of our winter nails for the season. It is finally December, which means, you know, Christmas nails, winter nails. We obviously have to do so many this month. So I thought starting off with something super simple and easy, I think was just a good way to start off the season. So I'm using some different nail tips today. I used to use these nail tips a lot a long time ago, but I haven't in a while because I found new nail tips that I really like. But we're going back to these because I kind of felt less bad about cutting them down so short because I don't really use these. And I'm just going to glue them on with some base coat. Okay, now to trimming them down. So I started off with this length and I thought that it was going to be short enough, but I decided to go even shorter just a little bit. I didn't want to go too, too short. I don't know if I'm really ready for that yet, <laughs> but I thought the length that we have here was going to be good enough and hopefully it's short enough for you guys. <laughs> So I'm just going to reshape the tips a little. These don't really need that much shaping. I'm mostly just blending in the nail tip with the natural nail and kind of filing the sides if they need it. And I'm not even going to bother pulling out my nail drill to remove the shine from the nail tips. I'm just going to do that with my hand file. Okay, so the nails are all done and prepped. Now we are going to add on a layer of base coat. Let's get into this poly gel application. We're using this nude poly gel called French Press. I decided to go with a different nude poly gel today. Kind of a lot of stuff in this video is different from what we normally do and normally use, like the length and the nail tips and the poly gel. I use a lot of the same things in 
most of my videos because you know it's what I'm comfortable with it's what I know is reliable this poly gel I really like it it's a good neutral version of the poly gel I always use poly gel I normally use it's more on the pink side and this one's definitely more neutral so if you're looking for other nude poly gel options this one is a good one and the brush I am using today is from the brand CADS I hope that's how it's pronounced but it's from Amazon it's a really huge poly gel brush this one is a size 10 and it has the spatula on the other end and it's really good and since I've started using it more recently I can definitely tell that it's making my poly gel application go by much faster it's definitely smoothing out the nails so much more easier and especially with these extra short nails it was really quick using this brush so I feel like this is a really good upgrade from the brush that I used to use and in the very beginning I started out with just using the poly gel brushes from the poly gel kits and those ones are so small like I haven't compared that brush to this brush but it would definitely be shocking if I do that and like I can just remember me doing my extra extra long nail sets with that really small brush that's actually so funny and sad at the same time because it took me so much longer so I would say if you're comfortable with getting a bigger brush and you don't mind practicing with it a little bit to get used to it I definitely recommend upgrading to this brush I think there's even like one more bigger size than this one if you want to go even bigger I didn't want to go that far yet so like I said in the beginning this is our first winter nail set of the month and I'm so excited for this month I have so many videos planned for December if you guys know every year in December I post every day for a week leading up to Christmas so that week before Christmas yeah I post a video every day and I've been doing it I think every year I've been on YouTube so far it's kind of a tradition now and obviously I'm gonna do it again this year I also normally do a live stream on Christmas but this year I think I'm not going to be doing that because I just want to focus on Christmas with my family and I have so many videos planned for this month that I'm pretty sure I'm not even gonna get a chance to do much gift wrapping so I know I'm probably Probably going to need Christmas Day to wrap gifts. I know I wrap gifts on Christmas. It is what it is. My family doesn't normally like do Christmas gift opening in the morning anyway because usually my mom has work and we just normally open our gifts in the evening. But to make up for not doing a live stream, I want to do a two-part extra long extravagant winter nail set for Christmas Eve and Christmas and I want to do a crazy nail set so I'm hoping that will make up for not doing a live stream this year so if you're excited for all the winter nail sets this month and if you have any suggestions or ideas on what sets you want me to do please leave them in the comments
Okay, just like that, we are done with the poly gel application. That went by so fast, like in real life too, in real time. Like it was really fast to do the application. So I'm just going to wipe down the sticky layer on the nails and get these ready to be reshaped. And I decided to not speed up this part of the video as much as I normally do because this is a beginner friendly set. It'll just make it a little bit easier to see how I'm shaping the nails. So all the shaping is done and now we are going to start with the nail art. So I'm just using my pink and white gel polish and putting that on my mixing plate. And we're just going to start off with doing a French tip on the ring finger. So I'm not really used to doing French tips on such short nails. So I definitely had to make a few adjustments to the nail art to finally get it to look right. <laughs> My first attempt, it was like not deep enough. So I tried to make the French tip deeper and then it was like getting too thick. So I just wiped it off and restarted. So I decided to do what I normally do and start the lines on the side, like very close to the cuticle area, very close to the bottom. And then I just dragged that up to the center and kind of curved it inward to make that French tip shape. And since these nails are short, I didn't want them to look stubby with the French tip. So that's why I made sure that I made these really deep and I didn't bring it that far down the nail so that it would make the nails have the illusion that they were kind of longer. the best way to draw a French tip on a short nail like this is to just start from the sides of how far down you want the tip color to go and then you just draw it on as if you're outlining the edges of the nail and then just kind of keep tapering it inward until you can round off the tip of it. I hope I explained that well to give you guys a little bit of a tip for drawing French tips. And then on the middle finger I'm just doing a white French tip.
so I kind of got too excited for the glitter and the nail art. So this nail art is sugared nail art, which basically means you pour the glitter directly into the gel polish while it's still uncured. And you're not supposed to top coat sugared nail art, the way I do it at least. So you're supposed to put on the top coat first and then do your nail art, but I totally forgot to do that. And you could see here, I'm just doing the nail art right over the bare nail. And I didn't even realize until I was done with the nail art. So we're just gonna kind of skip through this attempt because, uh, because obviously I take it off and I have to fix it. I literally didn't realize for so long that I even started doing the thumbnail. And the thumbnail is a, another pink French tip. And then here's the part that I realized that I messed up because I was thinking about what my next step was going to be and obviously that's the top coat but then I realized I can't top coat the sugared nail art. Yeah so I obviously took that off and put top coat on the nails first and now I'm restarting the nail art. So this nail art is just simple snowflake nail art on the ring finger. I'm just doing one and I'm using my dotting tool and you basically make a guideline with the dots. So I start off with a plus sign out of the dots and then I put a dot in each of the corners and then just use my nail art brush to connect everything and I love this nail art. I love how simple it is and it turns out so cute. If you've never tried this nail art before it might take a couple of tries, a few attempts, you know just just some practice but it is really easy to get the hang of and I think snowflake nail art is a really good nail art to learn if you don't know it. I do this nail art so often during the winter season so it's a good one to know. that is pretty much it for this design. I just wanted to keep it really simple. So I'm just going to be top coating the rest of the nails. Next, I'm going to add on some cuticle oil. And here are how the nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think of this nail set in the comments. So this is kind of our first extra short nail set that I've done on my channel. I think it's the shortest one we've ever done, if I'm remembering correctly, because I do remember that I'm always too scared to cut them too short. But for this one, I was like, you know what? Just cut it extra short. I want really short nails. And I thought this was a really nice beginner-friendly winter design. I really like the color combination with the white and the pink and the glitter. You could definitely cut customize this nail set to make it how you like it. You can change the colors, you could add more snowflakes, basically whatever you want to do. So I feel like this was a really good set to start off the winter nails with. And you know what? I really do enjoy the short nail length. It was really nice. I feel like I could do everything. But yeah. 
yeah that is pretty much it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will talk to you guys next time bye